is Stephen and RJ. Hello, RJ. Hello, Stephen. And, uh, well, we are here today to talk. Well, you may not be surprised that we're here today to talk about bots and building bots and using bots to promote your live shows and going on the live video hub, a whole range of things. Um, but I suppose we better start at the beginning. And uh, if I describe what the live video hub is, and then we'll go on to the discoverability engine and why it makes so much difference. Yes. Okay, so we're waiting for people to come in. And the live video hub uh, started life uh, seven or eight weeks ago and is effectively an online television station for shows which go out on BeLive.tv. At the moment, we've got 150, over 150 different shows uh, which can go out on BeLive.tv and we are pushing this week and we'll show you how we can actually uh, increase that. But it is a place to go and watch live video and you can uh, surf you can watch different channels you can go from one to another and you can comment and you can join in those live shows so that's what's come together in the last couple of uh, in the last six to eight weeks but that's only the beginning because we have great plans and those plans are coming to fruition and the first of those plans to actually go live was the discoverability engine over to you okay very good. So discoverability engine, if you don't know, uh, most of our, our most live streamers, especially at the beginning, and that's where a lot of BeLive folks are, most live streamers struggle with discoverability. There are a ton of shows on Facebook. Uh, you know, there's a ton of people going live all the time. Uh, it's, it's exactly what Facebook wants. How do you get discovered as the needle in that haystack? So what we've built, uh, I've built a, a chat bot for Live Video Hub that will help to get your show discovered. Uh, we don't want to just present to the world, here's 150 shows, uh, some of which are going on right now, 14 to 16 a day is the current count, are going live, right, on, uh, on the Live Video Hub. We don't want to just present, hey, we've got a lot of shows going on. We want people to land on the page and find a show that they might like to be interested in. So it's a TV guide in a messenger bot is what uh, the discoverability engine is. And if you are a broadcaster, uh, please get me your information through the bot uh, there's a link for that, which I don't have handy, uh, but Stephen might. I do. You do? Well, that's because you're Stephen. Uh, very good, sir. Thank you for being prepared. He's our producer today and always, really. Uh, Stephen is our producer, so thanks for that. Do give us your stuff. Uh, so that we might be, so that I can add your, uh, add your stuff to our discoverability engine and more, more new eyeballs will find you. And, uh, and also, you know, just on the tail end of that, if you're a broadcaster and you want to, you know, it, you're starting a show or, or you've had a show for a little while and you want to build your audience and you want to get better at live broadcasting, there is no easier way to do it than to pop around to some of the, the broadcasters that you see on the live video hub that are using the same tool that you're using, BeLive.tv, and watch what they do. Take what you like, leave the rest, adopt, be teachable, learn something every week. Steven's also got a course, a free course on Udemy about BeLive. Uh, it's uh, be teachable. Don't be afraid to learn stuff and, and support your fellow broadcasters. It's how we're all going to grow. Uh, and, uh, that's my, that's my commercial for the live video hub today. That was, that was very good. That was good. I'm glad this is being recorded. Um, the other thing, the other thing that we've I've noticed about the live video hub is that, um, it's actually becoming, um, a resource for people who want to learn English. Now, strange as it may seem because all, well, 95% of the broadcasts are in English. 
There are also broadcasts in uh, Spanish. I've noticed this. Portuguese. So basically, we're getting people coming to the live video hub and actually watching uh, live video to actually not only learn about BeLive.tv in the shows, but to actually learn English because as a resource, it's fantastic because you're seeing literally hundreds of shows a month uh, and you can actually learn. And, you know, if you turn the... Uh, if we all turn the closed captioning on, then it would be even better. Well, no, no got to go backpedal on that if, if Facebook was a bit better at it. Well, let me let me backpedal even more. Now, if your show is 30 minutes or less, Facebook will auto caption that thing for you. If okay. it's more than that, then you, uh, if it's more than 30 minutes, then you need to go get it done. There are simple ways of doing that, but it used to caption more. It used to caption, uh, you know, full shows and do all of that stuff. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't do that anymore. And uh, it will only do the first half hour. I think they're trying to refine, uh, as you said, Stephen, I think they're trying to refine their, their services and whatnot. Now, let me hear, let me talk to you for just for a second. I'm totally breaking from you know, uh, tra tradition here by talking about a different marketing tool, but it's okay. Uh, here's the benefit to closed captioning your shows. It's called search engine optimization. Uh, I try to close caption all of my shows because when people look up chat bots on the internet, I want my name to come up. When people are looking for chatbots on Facebook, if I've got my shows closed captioned, then I am more likely to come up as well. So think think about doing that stuff. Uh, it's it's some of that back end stuff that seems like magic, right? Seems like it just you don't even really know how it works. But the more the more closed captioning, the more SEO, and and this is the cool part. When your stuff goes by in somebody's feed and it's a show, it's on silent. It's on silent. Facebook set, sets it that way. But if you've got captions, if you've captioned that show, the captions will be playing. So you do have a chance to catch people's eye as they're going through the, the scroll. Um, and and you do, hey, how are you, Gospelo? Good to see you. Um, you do you do have a chance to catch people's eye and get more viewers on your show if you close captions. So Facebook will do it for you if you've got a 30 minutes or less show. If you've got 30 minutes or more, there are other services out there, services I use, uh, that'll do it for, uh, it's like 10 cents a minute. Um, and it's like, a, you know, it's not perfect. You kind of still have to go through it. But 10 cents a minute is the best price I found. So that's yep. like six bucks a show. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? That's yep. for, for what you get out of return. It's a good return on investment. Indeed. I might give it a whirl. Do you want to, not, not now because we're, we're busy chatting, but if you want to put the link to the service that you're actually using, then people can take a look. Yep. That would be good. Yep. I'll, I'll note this down, Stephen. Right. Now, uh, Strange enough, on a show talking about bots, we have a bot, and it's called BliffBot, Be Live in Five Bot. And if you type guest in the comments, then uh, you can come on camera, chat to myself and RJ, and ask any questions you've got about the live video hub, um, the discoverability engine, or bots in general. Yeah. Uh, we'll take all those questions on, uh, and you're more than welcome to actually come and join us. <sighs> right. Okay. Now, just to just we're, we're sort of going off at tangents here. We want to go off on a tangent just for a moment or, or so, because we both watched a show yesterday, didn't we? Yes, we did. It was insane. It was so insane. Good. I mean, Erin's show normally lasts for thirty minutes, but she was still going strong after an hour. Uh, because uh, Jane Powers is just, well, I think the, the, it's in the name, power. She's so powerful a presence, um, and she comes across so well, and she's talking common sense. 
which always helps. Yeah, the 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 show uh, actually lasted uh, so long because I'm usually setting up my reminders and stuff for my people for when I go live and all that. It lasted so long I forgot to do that, so nobody got a reminder from my show yesterday. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> But I'll tell you this, uh, and the Aaron Strayer show goes on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 1 p.m. Eastern. Uh, so don't, you know, don't miss that thing. And, uh, you know, get on to her bot because it's fabulous and it'll totally remind you. Um, that, that, that guest, Jane, Jane Powers, she was giving some tips for live speaking engagements. I had a live speaking engagement last night. And I tried some of her tips and they totally worked. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. It was amazing that I'm so glad that's our first show of the week because uh, it just, that's the power of finding people through the live video hub. That's the power of connecting with people. Uh, Erin, I found actually just in the Be Live group because her show goes on right before mine. And I was like, oh, I want to watch something before my show today. I saw her show and it was like, oh, this is really interesting. She's giving some good stuff here. Well, and then, you know, she and I, of course, are, we're bonded now. So, you know, we're friends forever. And, uh, and I'm doing some work on her bot. Anyway, Gosh, I watched that show yesterday and I grabbed some tips on how to introduce yourself in a way that's interesting and not your normal bio. RJ went to the University of Nebraska at Omaha. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> so ridiculous. Anyway, so this lady, uh, we might we, we might need a link to the show in the comments, my friend. But uh, so th this lady was given some tips on uh, how to introduce yourself uh, and, and do it in an interesting way. And so I was taking notes and writing these things down and I wrote it down on my, just on my presentation too, because I had, uh, I was actually doing some old school stuff, like actual holding up like sheets of paper. They loved it. They ate it up anyway, used some of those tips and that presentation just went like gangbusters and it was awesome. And I felt so good about, uh, what I was doing in that intro that the energy just carried all the way through one of the best speaking engagements I've ever done. So thank you, Aaron Strayer. Uh, we love you. And thank you, Jane Powers. We love you too. And, uh, and thanks for broadcasting on the live video hub. You make us, you make us a better place. You are silent, my friend. I cannot hear you. Wise words, yeah. and it was it was one of those shows which was special, and you actually felt involved in the show yeah. uh, because she has a, a magnetic personality, and she just leaps out the screen. Um, but she's not too far over the top, but she is true to herself. Yeah, yeah, and it's very yeah. interesting. So I've, I've put the link in the comments. Uh, if you want to catch a show and actually find somebody at the top of the game. Erin, of course, always is. Um, but uh, it was well, a pleasure to actually uh, listen to Jane. And in fact, she was so good. Uh, she has a book out, which is on Amazon at the moment, which I'm not going to put a link into. But I actually was so impressed that I went and bought the book on Kindle. And I started reading it yesterday, and I made it to chapter two, which is always a good sign, because most books <laughs> on Kindle you stop at the end of chapter one and think i'll come back to that later but i'm i'm reading chapter two and we'll go on to read chapter three um so that was erin's show yesterday uh and tish is saying that's number one be true to yourself and we say hello to uh jason franco franco hello yeah. hello and also hello to rebecca thank you for joining us we we're talking we're sort of about bots, around bots and everything uh, about messenger bots, um, but we're sort of linking it to other things as well that have caught our eye during the last few days, especially when they're connected to the live video hub, uh, which is where Erin's show was. And whilst we're on that at the moment and we're talking about Erin, we do have other friends. And just for a moment, and I'll 
hopefully be prompted by RJ in a moment. Um, I'm going to take that comment off screen. Uh, at the top of the screen, you'll see a show card, a very special show card, which covers five shows which take place the 6th to 10th of August. And they involve, as you can see from left to right, uh, RJ, Annie Moura, Erin, who we've just been talking about, Linda West, um, and in addition to Linda, we then have David Burroughs, Cheryl Piper, Brigetti Limbanda, and me. And the eight of us have, t which is eight, have teamed up, and we're going to be uh, doing live broadcast intuition throughout the week uh, uh, on the topics that are actually uh, shown on the card. And uh, you're more than welcome to join us at 10 a.m. Eastern, Monday through Friday. And you can find out more about live broadcasting. You can find out more about us. So you can find out what we do. And you can find out all about the Live Video Hub because all the shows will be broadcast on the Live Video Hub. That's 10 a.m. Eastern, 6th to 10th of August. And I'm I basically, um, I'm just so overwhelmed by the response. And because the team, the six people between you and I are absolutely at the top of the game. We are as well, but you know what I mean. Um, they've become friends through live broadcasting, and they're all, uh, as I say, at the top of the game and very knowledgeable. And what is more, they are more than happy to share their knowledge. May I ask you a question, Stephen? It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't on the show card. Okay. Um, the so it starts at ten a.m. Eastern. Yes. How long does it last every day? Uh, until the last person watch is watching. No, it, it lasts for an hour. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, Betw between 30 minutes and an hour. Uh, I mean, the show uh, will have, each show will have minimum two people on uh, talking about a topic of the day. And then um, people can come on as guests and ask questions. So it's a totally interactive show. It's between sort of a, a mix of an information show and a chat show. So people can come on and talk to us. Um, yeah. you know, and it's we're not worked out the program yet, which is why it says details to follow. But I, I could probably guess that RJ might be talking about yes, yeah, yes, <laughs> little, little bots, little bots, bots. bots. Mm -hmm. indeed, and um, also marketing as well. Well, any we can the thing is that we're they're all eight of us free to join in any of the shows, um, and sort of help along so if you're interested in live video at all if you want to know how it's done then those five days should give you an insight of what is possible and also give you hints tips and tricks to take with you when you do your own shows much in the same way as Jane M Power gave hints to RJ which transformed her speaking engagement last night yeah do you ever video your engagements I don't. Um, Kim Boltzma was there uh, because she, as you know, is my uh, my buddy here in Omaha with Cup of Content. She uh, she took a picture of it. She just happened to have her 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 real camera. She's actually a, like an amateur photographer as well. So there's a picture, um, but there isn't a, a recording. I didn't even think about it, Stephen. Uh, so I am, uh, but afterward, so we were all kind of talking this, uh, where I spoke last night was called a smart success business network. Mm -hmm. And, uh, it is, it's a, it's a really, uh, large group. And what they were talking about was a lot of people signed up last night to come, but didn't come. So, uh, me and the organizers are going to chat about how to, how to take that message that I gave last night and uh, and put it out to everybody in the network. Uh, so there may be, uh, I'm not sure what's coming, maybe a little rehash or, or something like that, but, uh, but there, there will be something that uh, I'm able to put up on the internet and, uh, and have people attend. So, uh, so that ought to be a lot of fun. Indeed, indeed. I, I've, I'm in awe of people who get up in front of 100 people and actually talk. I mean, I can come on live video with you. I can chat and we can be eventually watched by hundreds of people. And I don't have a problem with that because it's just you and I chatting together. But standing up in front of a room of people, um, well, it's, it's a well-known fact. 
and there's a book out by a friend of mine and it's called and third came death and that's a strange title for a book but if you check it out on amazon you'll find it there written by a friend called andy lapata and he said the quote is that the thing that most people are afraid of is life speaking third in that list is death don't ask me what the second one was i'll have to go and check it up but um life speaking is amongst the many fears in fact it's the it's the fear most people have yeah so kudos to you for doing that I, I love it. I'm a strange, I'm a strange bird, Stephen. I would rather get up in front of people and talk about something that I'm passionate about than like I become a total wallflower at those when I'm just when I'm not speaking. I'm like mm -hmm. a total like, you know, like uh, hoping I can talk to somebody. But uh, I find that I find that an often harder approach than standing in front of a room. I have no idea why. <laughs> I do. I can empathize with that totally um, because if if I have to speak then I will um, um, and I, I once I've started I'm, I'm not really there's no problem at all because I can talk for England um, but I I too if it, we've got a, a local Wiltshire business club and the format of the the evening was that you're all sat at different tables and then you pick uh, three people you're actually going to have a five minute talk to it's like speed networking uh, and those I, I just well they're not my cup of tea he said right okay now if anybody wants to join us on camera all you have to do because we do have a bot running is to type guest and you can join us on camera you're more than welcome to just have a chat or to talk about bots um, then please do uh, we've talked about the live video hub uh, which we're both pushing and we're pushing and pushing and incredibly today there are 15 16 shows going live on there today and we want to thank everybody who's actually doing their shows and uh, just a warning though this is not wasn't a warning we want to help don't we RJ yeah we do we want to help but we need the help of the people who are broadcasting or not broadcasting yeah, we do. We uh, we have uh, we Stephen and I were talking a little bit before the show about folks who have uh, submitted their information to be on Live Video Hub and uh, have given us, you know, show cards and all of the different things and are, are listed in the discoverability engine, but forget to cross post. Um, and so we are thinking about Stephen and I uh, using. Uh, one of the features that is in bots, uh, bringing it back to bots, people, you knew we would. Um, one of the features that you can use is called a broadcast where you can take an announcement and broadcast it out to everybody in the bot or target certain groups of people. And what we'd like to do is to remind everybody to cross post and also remind them how to cross post because it's more than just giving us uh, your information. It's also uh, when you set up your video through BeLive going into Facebook and cross posting to the hub specifically. So that is that is something that we want to kind of remind the, the folks that aren't doing it. Um, you know what, this is a whole lot of details and it's a whole lot of stuff all at once and people are busy and we understand that. So let's adapt to everybody else's lifestyle. Use the bot to communicate. Here's one little thing that you can do to get a lot more people watching your shows. And uh, and yeah, that is something that uh, hopefully, I know that Steven has already made a video on the topic getting that video, capturing it and putting it into a broadcast to let everybody in the bot know who's not already cross posting that, that seems to be, and, and that, that too is, uh, you know, broadcasts are something you can duplicate and use over in 60 days to everybody who's still not cross posting. Uh, and all the new people, because we're getting new people all the time and we want them to be up on things too. So, so we want to talk a little bit about the using that broadcast 
uh, I will, I'll, I'll talk about kind of my experience in using them. And then Steven, you, you have experience too. I know in your bot as well. Um, and, uh, and this is something pretty simple, uh, pretty simple to do. Uh, what I do uh, is when folks get into my chat bot, which is uh, Spinning Dragon, the black belt bot, she's pretty, she's the cutest ninja you've ever did see. So when I have people come in, people can kind of choose, wait, are you saying do a trailer for your bot? Oh, Franco Franco, do a trailer for your bot. Let me just... Let me just say, oh, good day from Canada. Hey, David Burroughs. Hey, how you doing? Um, do a trailer for your bot. You know, uh, I've been thinking, I, I ran into, because Steven over here, uh, I ran into a uh, a little program to do, to do very quickly do some video on. And uh, I was thinking about doing a trailer for my show, but you're right. Do a trailer for the bot. Duh. Um, okay, my mind was blown. I had to interrupt the regular flow for a second to tell you how much my mind was blown. Thank you, Franco Franco. Franco Franco's show is on today, by the way, uh, at uh, at 2 p.m. Eastern. So uh, do catch that. He's going to talk us talk to us about product lighting. Anyway, back on track. Using the broadcast feature to get a message out to everybody telling them, okay, this is what you need to do to cross post. And then we probably also need to include that information about when you are broadcasting to many places, it's cool to include a link right at the top that says, Hey, if you want to comment on this, join us right here. Um, because that is also confusing for people. Would you say that that is uh, confusing for people as well? Mr. Steven, are you busy producing at this time? I'm sorry, I'm back. I'm not busy producing. I was busy. Uh, my son is on Messenger, and I'm trying to deal with my son in Australia, and do the, it doesn't work. Men don't multitask. Um, so my apologies for being slightly distracted. You're um, fine. Yeah, no, I, I agree. And that's, that's a darn good, two darn good ideas we've had in five minutes. One is, is broadcasting on many chat to encourage people to actually go live on the hub because we're, we're averaging between 50 and 60 shows a month, which is brilliant. Uh, and any one time, I mean, I've got, there are 70 videos on there to cross post at the moment. If I wanted to do it, take it even further. 73 shows have been on in the last 28 days. Um, so that's uh, all good. And being able to just gently remind people uh, by using tags on many channels, sending out broadcast, another good idea. And then we had the one which threw us both uh, doing a trailer for the bot. So thank you for that, Jason. Thank you. Uh, we'll definitely take that on board. Look out for a trailer near you. In fact, we, pro we could probably do it again together for uh, a short session. Just if you could run us through the best way to, well, we're open to advice, aren't we, RJ? Yes. Oh, absolutely. We are because honestly, you, uh, everybody watching, you are co-creating all of this with us. We have no wish to create something for other people in a vacuum. That doesn't work. It just doesn't work when you've got two people that are like, I think this is what people need, but never being able to get feedback from people. No, that's one of the reasons that we created this show so that everybody here can give input on what the live video is, what, you know, uh, what they want the live video hub to be, what kind of response are you getting from posting on the live video hub, all of that stuff, and are you getting results from the discoverability engine, or what would you like to see the discoverability engine do? These are all the things. Uh, so give us all the input you can uh, and we will answer all of the questions that we can. Uh, absolutely. That's why this is a, a, a live stream where we're catch, capturing this stuff as it comes. This is a collaborative live stream. Yeah. And we're just lucky that our collaborators are so talented. Um, talking of which, uh, Jason's saying promoting your shows before you go live is what streaming is missing, being in the front of people's minds. Now, that's a, that's a darn good point, isn't it? 
because we do send out, I, we've both mentioned we send out broadcasts before the shows uh, on many chat. But what we don't do is we don't do a pre-show show or a trailer for the shows. So there's some scope there. And as I say that, we welcome for all the way from Ontario in Canada, from Sarnia, Ontario in Canada, uh, our good friend, David Burroughs. Hello, David. Hello, I'm just I'm getting myself in the in the in the spot there. Yeah. Hey, I RJ. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I actually uh, thanks. I I appreciate you guys doing this show. I I've 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 caught it once briefly before, but I'm glad that I was able to uh, sit down today and, and watch a lot of it. I've actually got a couple of questions for you guys. Tell me now. Um, <laughs> in regard to the um, discoverability, discover. Hmm. The discoverability bot. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. How does how how does like I I saw before like sent us a message and we're, I'm I'm a little confused on how it works. Okay. So how to how to get this to work is if you were to bring up Live Video Hub uh, on your messenger or hit up the page and hit send message. If you type in find a show you'll be taken to a little menu with categories of shows and then you're able Where'd she go? You took her away. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> my my apology. My apology. I didn't touch anything. I I believe you. Uh, and okay, uh, so it's not your fault, but we're gonna blame you. Okay, That's okay. That's fine. Go with it. Go with it. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, so you left there in the middle of. So I'm actually doing this right now, just so you know. So I typed. That was the part I didn't know. So I typed find the show. Now I get gonna ask you some questions. Okay, sorry, RJ, carry on. Yeah, so uh, so you can find a show that you're interested in. You can connect if that a show has a bot connected, a reminder bot connected. You can t connect directly there. Um, we also will uh, send you to uh, that you know that show's page. Uh, you can set a reminder as well. Now the reminders, everybody, they're still being constructed. We're still figuring that out. That's uh, it's a little bit more complicated because we have 150 shows right now hopefully david soon as well uh that is a, a hint and a reminder um i and, thought it was <laughs> yeah it is yeah um okay. we yeah. so we have a lot of shows on there right now what we want to be able to do is send people you know kind of a you know just sort of a little generic hey this person's going online right now you might want to you know sit down and and relax and have a you know go watch their show and then have a link to their video page but nice. the and we'd like to be able to do that every week because a lot of really what the live video hub does we're directing people to your regular schedule if you're a person who likes to pop on and do a 5 minute we're not going to be able to send a reminder for that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We love you, but we both have work to do. <laughs> right. Well, there's some requirements then, right? Which is fair. That's, yeah. uh, I just want to acknowledge, and I, I'm sure I can't pronounce her name, right? Does anybody know? Gospel. Gospel? Yeah. Oh, you, gospel. Yeah. Just saying hello back there. Is this in the bot? It is in the bot, my friend. Uh, and one of the things that I'm working on, and, Stephen, we really do need to get this Trello board up and make it public for people so they know kind of what we're working on. Uh, one of the things that I'm working on is uh, we need to make it super, super apparent uh, that what people need, you know, we need to direct people to that find a show feature on the live yeah. video hub. Um, because that will, uh, that will, you know, I mean, it's there, but nobody knows about it yet. So, uh, surfacing that is definitely on my list of to do's my friend, but, uh, but yeah, find a show will, will help you, will help you find, you know, shows that you're interested in, help you follow broadcasters. Um, I was talking a little bit about that earlier. If you are new to this whole field, nothing better to nothing more 
better and more easy that you can do than to pop up these people who are broadcasting on the same software you're using. Uh, some people have been doing it a little. Some people have been doing it a lot. But everybody, every show has a little part that you can take from it and make your own. We're all here to make each other better. So, um, so David, are you having a good experience on the discoverability engine right now? <laughs> How do you know I'm still on there? Because I'm looking over here. And I'm looking over here. We can see. We can see. <laughs> Visual yeah, evidence. Okay, now. My messenger. Yeah, no, it's, I mean, it's, uh, uh, I, I can't remember. How do I go? Can I put messenger in full screen mode? Yeah, you can. Just go to messenger.com. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's what I use because I'm in messenger. How much do you charge? Um, <laughs> how much do I charge? Uh, David Burroughs. Uh, <laughs> Careful what I asked. What did I ask there? No, I'm learning so much today. You know, this is a great thing. Like, I mean, I mean, I do live show too, right? Obviously, talking about it, Stephen and I. But I'm learning something new, and and it's uh, that's what I really. Okay, here we go. Uh, there. What? Uh, just a, a question from Gospel. Uh, there's time for me to put my hand up. RJ is saying that everybody should get the details into the discoverability engine. And uh, not only is, is the show that David and I do missing, but this show isn't in there yet. And yes, this show isn't in there yet. And tomorrow's show is, I have a lot of work to do and a lot of catching up. So I'll do that in <laughs> earnest. And then we'll have five more shows on the bottom. And with David, six more shows on the bot. So this will all be good. So do I have to do anything to at my end to make sure I'm in there? As far Absolutely. As Absolutely. Okay. So uh, Stephen has a, a link uh, that he might have already put in there or or will do that as well. It's it's the link that we send to new broadcasters who are okay. on and it will take you through all of the information that I need to be able to put your show in. And it will also give you, it'll just ask you some questions about stuff that you want to might want to learn about because we're you know, we're going to be doing broadcasts on, hey, here's something you can do for discoverability, like make a trailer for your show. Hey, here's something you can do for <laughs> repurposing. Um, right. You know, so uh, so we want to be we, we don't want to just help broadcasters, you know, get found. We also want to to be able to to give you some tips and tricks along the way so that you continue to grow your audience. It's just it, it's a win-win situation. We all grow. When your show grows, Live Video Hub grows. When yeah. Live Video Hub grows, your show grows. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I've already seen some results from that. You know, I've got, uh, you know, Stephen and I cross post our show and then my weekly show as well. And, and uh, what I find interesting is, and just as an example, my, my show being more about local and where I live, um, People all over the world are still interested yeah. because wow. of what's happening. I, and, and I, I, I dealt with that wrong, wrongly, wrongly. I dealt with it. Um, I used to think that I used to say to people, yeah, well, I don't have a lot of views because the guy in California doesn't care about my show. And when it was recorded, that might've been true, but now because of the live and because of where it's being shared and maybe partly because of content, people are going, oh, that's interesting that that's happening in his community. I wonder if we could do the same thing in our community or it's it's the whole networking thing, right? So um, I, I, I think the, the cross-posting uh, is, is a fantastic opportunity for anybody who's doing uh, broadcast in their shows. I'll tell you what, I was looking at my stats the other day um, and this is kind of a different stat than what is usually talked about, but I was looking at, uh, because Facebook, I, maybe I just noticed it, or maybe they've been surfacing this for a while. But when I looked at my total views, when I hovered over that, it showed me how many views came from the Black Belt Bots page and how many views came from cross-posting in general, just the whole category. Oh, I is that right? Yeah, I cross-post on about eight pages, Live Video Hub being one of them. 80% of my views are coming from cross posting. Wow. Yeah. Where That's do you do that in the insights? Is that what you're saying? Um, actually, uh, the way that I got hold of it uh, a couple of days ago when I saw it is I just hovered over the amount of views that I had for a certain show. 
Okay. And it just, it, it, it told me when I hovered my mouse over it. You know what I'm doing right now, right? Yes, <laughs> we, we do, David. And what, whilst you're doing that, I best explain. When you do cross post, um, your total views that you see on the video are the sum total of all the views of the places you've posted. So the views is the grand total. And that just builds up naturally as you're actually live. After the show, you can go and you can see what percentage of views took place on your page and what percentage of views took place on the pages you cross posted to. Also, it will tell you the reach of those pages at the time you went live. And you can see at a glance how effective cross posting is. And uh, that's why the live video hub works. Um, I mean, if you cross posting to, because we're only just getting going, if you cross posting to a well established page uh, like TVSN, for example, <laughs> um, you'll find that a number of viewers will watch you from there. And it only takes 30 seconds to actually get cross posting working. And uh, it is a benefit, and it's the most durable we've we've tried all sorts in the past we've tried you were talking about this yesterday rj please share my show and the response these days is well it depends it depends on when people ask if people say you know right away share this show i'm not inclined to share the show because i don't know if it has value for me yet if yep. it's the first time I'm watching and five seconds in, you're like, hey, please share this show. I, I'm i not going to do it because I don't know if this is quality yet. But if you say it at the end of the show, after you've delivered some kind of value or taught me something or kept me interested for that entire time, I'm going to share the show. That's a good point. You know, I think uh, uh, I'm, I know I've been guilty of doing that at the start of a show saying, by the way, please share this around, help us get more. But you're, you're right. I don't think people share it until they go, well, I, I'm not sharing. I, I find out of the three keys, I call them keys, the like, the comment, and the share button on Facebook, that share is the least used. Yeah. Because we, yeah. we it, and I don't know if it's, well, I think it's laziness. I think we click like, it's done. We click share. Then we have to tell it where we want to share. And I know that sounds horrible, no. to, to, no. but I think it really is too much work compared <laughs> to a like button. I typically, when I like something, I've, I've created the habit of loving something. Me too. Just because more people should click the love button. And, but I think that's another one that you have to wait though. And then you have to pick the one you want, or you can just click like. And I think that's just the world we live in, right? So the, the, the shorter the steps, the better, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. The, the fewer steps, the better, most definitely. And just to take um, Rebecca's point, I thought I'd set up cross posting, but I haven't noticed it actually posting. Is it automatic? So, no. You're in control. You decide which shows go live wherever you're cross posting to. You create your show on BeLive.TV as normal, a scheduled show to your Facebook page. Then you go to Facebook and you can see the post. Top right hand corner are three dots. Click those three dots and you get the option to edit. Go into edit mode, go to the settings page and underneath that you'll see cross posting. And if you, under that you'll see live video hub. You click that till it turns blue and then you press save twice, that's it. Now, if that was a bit long-winded, I did do a video today, which you'll find on the Live Video Hub page and the blog, uh, all about how it works after you've done the initial part. So I've got that covered, and uh, I shall make contact afterwards, Rebecca, and uh, guide you through it step by step. But it is, it still takes about 30 seconds, doesn't it, David? Yeah, it's, it's uh, I created a video for the people that joined my network as well. Um, and it's, uh, it's, uh, it's really simple. It's one of those things. It's simple if you know how, but it's, you do have, there's, there are a few steps, but uh, if I know Steven, he's very precise step by step and it's, it really is simple. One thing I just like to add into that. Um, initiated. 
check the box. Oh boy, somebody else is trying to talk to me. Let's get rid of that. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) Um, The. (laughs) You've you've lost it. You've lost it now. Cut. Uh, And take two. Um, (laughs) What? Son of a. (laughs) It's okay. Whilst you're getting in the the thread back, the only person who hasn't lost the plot today is me. Um, but my turn will come. Don't worry about it. Um, so yeah, Rebecca, I'll be in touch after the show and uh, help you help you get going. Because as RJ and I were discussing earlier, what we want to do is, is more people who've signed up to actually go live on Live Radio Hub. Because the more lives we have, the more viewers we get, the more viewers we get, the better it is for everybody. Are you, are you gathered your thoughts, David? I just <laughs> uh, the one thing about cross posting is. Uh, and I, I don't know that we spent enough attention on this. Maybe we should. Is you can also decide to not let the other person share back, right? right. So I yeah. can I can share my videos to you. You there's a switch there to not let me. And I always tell everybody who joins my network, I'm okay if you don't want me to post back to you. Like that's mm-hmm. I'm not asking for that. But turn that switch off. Because I think sometimes we forget, like when I cross post, I go through, you know, I got about 50 I can post to yeah. because they haven't set that off. Now, I, I don't I don't post to Blabbing for Britain, for example, because it might not have relevance to what I'm going to be talking about on my show. So even though you haven't turned that switch off, I just, I guess, courtesy or etiquette go, I'm not going to turn that one on just to get somebody else to watch it. It has no relevancy to the page. Don't post there. Post to the relevance. That was it. <laughs> we agree. And today's show is going on Andre's page because it's about bots. I, likewise, I wouldn't post tomorrow's Blubbing for Britain show on Andre's page because that right. would be, it, that's unfair for, for a start. And it doesn't have any relevance to, to, to bots. Now, talking of uh, bots, I watched a short video today answering a specific question. And that question was, because we're all using ManyChat. Can you broadcast on ManyChat more than three times a week? Over to you, RJ. Yeah, so someone asked the question in the group today, uh, and I was I was busy typing an answer out, and then I was like, oh, I could just record a quick video here. So uh, I used a service called Loom. It's free. It's fabulous, darlings. If you do explainer videos for people, get on that bad boy right now. Uh, And so I recorded a quick video that kind of just shows you uh, in that, that is uh, in the B live group right now. If you're watching this and you're not in the B live group, go ahead and join us. Uh, It's a really wonderful group of people. It's a good community Uh, and it's a large one uh, actually. Uh, But uh, there, there is a a video in there and we'll probably pop the link in the comments as well. Um, when you are having a lot of my people, uh, a lot of my clients are on reminder bots, show reminder bots, which is you receive a little message and brought in uh, messenger when your show's about to go live. It really puts butts in the seats. Let me tell you. Uh, and uh, so the question was, OK, if you go live more than three times a week, should you be sending, you know, what's your experience? Are you getting people unsubscribing to your bot uh, because they're getting too much, too many messages from you? Um, the other danger is, you know, I, I've got people who subscribe to my live broadcast, but I also send out other broadcasts in addition. So how much is too much and what what do you do in that circumstance? So I just made a little two-minute video on uh, what you can do there. And long story short, well, shorter. Uh, Long story shorter, (laughs) what you can do is if you're on ManyChat, there is a way that you can continue to send messages, but send them in silent ninja mode. If you've got more than three broadcasts going per week regularly, I would suggest putting some of those broadcasts on silent ninja mode, which is this. When you get a regular push notification in Messenger, your phone probably buzzes and there's probably a little message on the lock screen, uh, like the first part of the message or whatever. 
fantastic. If you are sending two, three messages a week, uh, just go for that regular push notification. It's fine. But if you're sending out more than that, consider going silent ninja mode, which allows you to just show up as a message that is unread in Messenger. Phone won't buzz. Locks, the message won't appear on the lock screen. Um, the reason being that uh, people still want to know. You know, you're going live, stuff like that. And a ton of people watch the actual replay when I send out the reminder stuff. Um, but they, I mean, they still want to know, but you don't want to bother people. You don't want to be in their face too much. That's not what Messenger is about. Uh, but it's a way that you can still let people know stuff without bothering them too much. And I know that's a big concern if you're a live streamer and you're like Steven and you're on 16 times a week or David for the, for that matter. Uh, you know, you're going to want, you want to let people know something's going on. Like Steven's got this, you know, we, well, the three of us have this, uh, uh, stuff coming up in August uh, that Stephen was mentioning earlier. We're going to want to let people know, but we don't want to overburden people with notifications. So silent ninja mode, it's actually not called silent ninja mode. It's just called silent in many chat, uh, but I call it silent ninja mode. Uh, do turn that on. If you're sending more than three broadcasts a week regularly, do turn that on for people. It will, it will get less unsubscribes to your bot. So that was the that was the content basically. The, the, the last thing you want to do with a messenger bot is annoy people. Yes. So that's a way that you can use, and you don't annoy people because you're not being in your face. You're being polite, and polite bots are the best bots. Now I just discovered that in actual fact, uh, slight change of topic, but going back to something Rebecca said, um, I actually uh, did a blog today which is on my site, and it includes all the information you need once you've set up the cross-posting uh, to actually go live on the Live Video Hub or on TVSN once you've created a new show. So all the information about live cross-posting is in that blog, what I wrote today, and which features Mr. David Burroughs, because I always use the example where we all began uh, it was myself and David cross-posting to each other's pages. So uh, you're in the blog today, David. Wow. I'm blessed. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, wow. Well, there the you only go. Thing missing, the only thing missing with cross-posting, and this is – so here I go, never satisfied with enough features <laughs> – we talked about that the other day, but, um, and, and only for, for me, because a lot of times I don't schedule a live. A lot of times I'm, I'm out at an event and it's just that I'm going yeah. live. Right now, that being said, it's not a huge deal because if I'm going live at Sarnia veg fest, for example, yeah, you maybe don't care so much because, uh, unless you're hopping on a plane a couple of days before you're not going right. <laughs> So I, I I don't know it would have its advantages for sure but I you know, I have some thoughts on probably why they don't allow that but um, I think this this new feature of cross posting is is still in the early stages of what they're going to allow us to do there's definitely uh, I see more coming for sure that's yeah. just a, an assumption but I noticed something the other day and I forgot about it and you just reminded me about it because it is important. And I should have told you both about it before now. I should have told the world about it. You, you know that Facebook sort of bring in these features and don't tell anybody about it. And you're on a voyage mm. of discovery with everything. Uh, you've got to work out how it works and why it works. After you have finished a live broadcast, if you have not cross-posted it before the broadcast, you can cross-post it after the broadcast. Yeah. So yeah. if, you go, if you go to edit post, the cross-posting feature is there, and you can cross-post after the event. Now, it doesn't go – well, it depends on the permissions you've got set up, but it means you can, uh, if you forget to cross-post somewhere, you can actually do it after the event. Now, like I did a couple of you. weeks ago. Yeah. There is also another way to do that, Stephen. 
I'm if with you. you. Uh, if you go to your uh, broadcast, uh, or if you go to your your videos section on your page, I know this is available in the business manager. If you go to your videos section, um, then you will be able to. Uh, y y it'll say right there. You've got four videos that you can cross post right now. You've got six available videos you can cross post right now. If you click that, it'll show you a, a list of videos that you can, that were, that were like, you know, waiting or whatever that you could totally cross post right now if you wanted to. I did that a few weeks ago mm -hmm. uh, with your show that you did with Aaron, uh, Stephen. Uh, I, I just did a rebroadcast of it. And honestly, if we're gonna do like show of the week, we could totally just rebroadcast show of the week totally. on like Friday afternoon or something when nobody else is really broadcasting. Wow. We've had four or five good ideas in this show. It's absolutely We're going to have to take a nap after this thing. <laughs> going to need another show. Ah, right. Okay. Um, no, I, I, the show's coming up tomorrow uh, from my side. Are at 5 a.m. Eastern, and I, I don't expect everybody to be there, but uh, we're broadcasting to the UK. That's loving for Britain, and we'll either be uh, commiserating with each other or celebrating because at 2 p.m. Eastern today, England are playing Croatia in the World Cup. It's the last time I'll mention it. And I'm hoping that England win and go on to play France in the final on Sunday. So good luck to England. Uh, but tomorrow we'll be talking about it, and that's Blobbing for Britain with myself, John Upton, and Peter Stewart, and Stephen Silk. And then at 5 p.m. tomorrow, hosted by myself and Linda West, is the show where we say, just do it. And RJ, your show's tomorrow. Absolutely. Got a show coming up at uh, 2 p.m. Eastern tomorrow on the Black Belt Bots page and on the Live Video Hub, obviously. Uh, also on uh, the TVSN network as well, because I love to cross post there, too. Uh, got a show coming up about Messenger Bots. It's always about Messenger Bots, people. So come join me. I uh, love to see you. And David, are you live tomorrow? Uh, what's today? No. Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday. Uh, oh, wow. I'm having a brain day. Uh, Thursday. Uh, yes. Well, my son will be broadcasting live from Lampton College, mm -hmm. uh, live streaming uh, his usually Fortnite or some game, whatever. And uh, I may or may not join him. I will tell you that. Oh, I, I will share this. Uh, I will be live tomorrow now that I remember. We have... And Stephen, you'll probably really appreciate this. Okay. We have a B-25 bomber coming to Cernia tomorrow. It's actually arriving today. Um, and there's a gala coming up this uh, Friday. But I, as media, am getting a ride in this B-25 oh, bomber wow. tomorrow morning. Yeah, at 10 a.m. And they're allowing me to uh, go live during the uh, – so I'll be a whole like walking up to the plane and on the plane live and all that sort of stuff. I, wow. Well, we'll see if it's going to be live. I don't know if I can get a signal up there or not, but it'll be recorded at least. Yep. And then I will put that out later. And then uh, a Friday night, it's uh, a fundraiser for Pathways, uh, a children's uh, organization here in Sarnia. I'm the MC for that on Friday night. So yes, tomorrow, 10 a.m., I will be flying high in the sky. And it's called, the, the if you Google it, it's called uh, Made in the Shade, Made, M-A-I-D, in the shade b25 mm -hmm. bomber there's only about 34 of these left in existence that that working existence yeah so there you go wow that's quite a geek yeah yeah once wow. in a lifetime brilliant <sighs> right rj shall we close the show in we we simply must. I believe that uh, we got all of the the cool stuff uh, covered. So uh, yeah, absolutely. Let's let's close it out. And uh, Andre and I will be back next Thursday. No, Wednesday. Sorry. You want to close? You want to close? This is catching. Right, Andre <laughs> and I will be back at twelve p.m. Eastern next Wednesday. More about Messenger Bots, more about our mission to help people on the live video hub. Uh, David's show, I, David and I did the show on Monday. He's 
taking care of it this coming Monday because I'm away. Um, but we look forward to seeing you all again. Thanks for watching the show today and uh, have a great week. Till Thanks for week. having me on, guys. Take care. I, our pleasure, David. Take care, everybody. Bye for now. And that is.